While I'm busy thinking of how weird Rena is, Emmy drags me back to the art classroom. I feel myself starting to run out of breath. What, what's the rush? Huh? Emmy's giving me a praising look as she's trying to figure something else. It's just that you seem to be in a hurry. I'm not sure I can keep up. Comprehension draws in her face. She knows that she could kill me at any given moment. Either push me off a roof or work me a little bit harder and my heart will give out. You're, you're not out of breath, are you? It's almost an accusing playfulness in her tone. I'm tempted to deny it, but then I realize that I've been breathing heavy since we stopped. Guess it's kind of obvious. Uh, a, a little. Not everyone can be in shape, you know? Takes all kinds, right? Emmy frown. It's, it's not a particularly good frown. It's a weird frown. Er, that, that is. I, I should get in shape. Not that I hadn't already decided to try that before. After that flutter on the track, I figured there was a real new need to get some sort of running habit. I was, after all, feeling pretty good until I had my force alarm. Well, actually I wasn't, but it was fun, right? And that's what life is supposed to be about. If I can have fun while I'm dying, well then fuck yeah, man, we're doing the right thing. Or we're just trying to kill ourselves, in which, and maybe everyone will die in the end. Meanwhile, my comment seems to have helped Emmy come to sort of a decision. Well, that's it then. She gives me a serious look. You're joining me. What? 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 I what? Who? I beg your pardon. In the mornings, you and I are now running partners. Oh, shit. I've got a routine all planned out. In fact, no, 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 not paper. Any anything but paper. Seriously, this is something I don't want to look forward to. She produces a crumpled sheet of paper. I've got it right here with me. I take the sheet of paper and give it a once over. It's a new song. I don't, I don't remember this song. What the hell is this? Huh. This is new. I like this. I feel, I feel a bit. I feel like the world's going to be better. Time, dates, and laps all laid out. A slow increase in just a few laps a day to... My God! Does she expect me to have running marathons? Where does she find the time to get all this time together? And how long has she been planning this out anyway? Y you've been planning this? A little. But but it's really the nurse's idea. He told me to keep an eye on you to make sure you exercise like he, like he told you to. A vast conspiracy against me? Maybe Kenji's onto something here. There's goddamn woman all over the place. Seriously, the only woman in my class. Besides the one retarded boy and Kenji. I'm gonna get fucked here. It seems a bit much for just keeping an eye on me. Well, to be honest, I've been trying to find a running partner in the mornings for a while now. My God, Kenji! If you can only see the scheme unfolding, you, sir, would never shut up about it. I think she's fucking been doing it from the beginning. This diabolical plan. Why do you need a partner? You're not going to kill me, right? It's easier to keep up a workout if you're not the only one doing it. Amen to that, sister. Isn't that obvious? I agree. Someone else is pushing you, you're pushing them. Perfect. You want to have that Chinese food? No, you can't have that Chinese food. Because you have to work out tomorrow. So you... You go and make some turkey. But but I want my chicken and broccoli and rice. No! No, it's bad for you. No Chinese food. High in sodium, high in fat, high in calories. And your carbs are going to be shitting out of your asshole. Have some turkey. No bread. And like two slices. And we'll work together. See, that's how it, that's how it happens. I know from experience. You're, like, you're less likely to quit. Someone else is counting on you to be there, right? No, I, I agree. I, I see. And this won't only keep you running, but it'll, it'll make sure that I keep running as well. I mean, I'll be obeying the nurse. And I'll be keeping an eye on you, just like he asked. You call not quick, us out. And, and if I refuse? I have no intention of refusing, of course. But I gotta at least put up a token of resistance to such a masterfully executed plan, you know? Let them know that the scheme is not all perfect unless it relies on me. And if I say nay, well then nay it is, my friend. Nay it is. Well, if you refuse, I, I, I'd have to pout. And, and you'd have to live with being the guy who made Emmy Ibazuki pout. You don't want to put that under conscience, do you? I already have no legs. As if to demonstrate, Emmy begins pouting. Oh, come on! The most adorable, heart-wrenching thing I've ever seen. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. Just, just don't do that. I feel like I just hit a puppy. So it's settled, right? You're going to be my running partner? Follow the workout? And the dietary, dietary plan? What the fuck is this? Yeah, the dietary plan. You've got to eat healthy if you're going to get in shape now. I examine the workout routine closely. I don't see a dietary plan on here. Oh, right! I forgot to give that to you. Another crumpled sheet of paper is produced and handed over. It's somewhat less detailed. I had the nurse help me come up with it. About the education that the nurse has to keep going, keep me, keep me in good health is pretty overwhelming. I don't know how many school nurses would get one of their students to spy on me, much less come up with a dietary plan and exercise routine. Then I guess I'm not a normal school and this is part of his job. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. Maybe I can get used to this stuff. Maybe... Maybe this is good. This is the change I wanted. Then again, this dietary plan seems to cut out just about everything that I'll be offered at the festival tomorrow and pretty much anything fun in life. I fucking hear you, Sal, man. I've been eating turkey out my goddamn ass. Turkey and fucking fish and... Uh, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, uh, 
when does our running start? After the festival. R right after? What if we had something to eat there? I could get a stomachache, you know? I mean, I could cramp up and die. I meant the day after the festival. I, I knew that. Wasn't there something that we were supposed to be doing? Oh, I, I guess we should find the paint for Rin, huh? Oh no, it slipped my mind. Well, th that's okay. At least you still have a mind. Because I'm about to lose mine. By the time we get the paint and get back to the mule, Rin's already wandered off. Oh well. I mean, I both decide the part where he's there, even the paint on the ground. Rin will find it. Whenever she comes back, anyway. She will. Festival's tomorrow. I'm actually a little excited for it. The same time this week's left me feeling pretty tired. So I read a little and then go to bed. You know, it's, he's had a pretty exhausting week. But for the most part, it seems like he's doing the right thing. Katawa shohojo, katawa shohojo, do do do, do do do. Yeah, let's go to the festival and meet all the babes at the festival. Next day, I wake up feeling a little lightheaded. It's almost noon already. Sleeping late is fine since it's Sunday and there are no classes. Not just a Sunday though, but the festival as well. And, you know, I want to find out what the hell this goddamn fuss is all about the festival. Because if I have to go and partake in a festival and like this fun stuff, might as well learn about it. You know, maybe it's just really shitty. Maybe my luck is just turning into shit. <laughs> I mean, we think about it. I now have a running partner. I could die at any given moment, and everyone could die. And the game was just glitching. From my window, I can already see some people at the soba booth slinging noodles on the plates for people with craving for low-quality food. Slinging noodles. Noodles and ketchup, my friend. That is the way pasta is made. I throw back a handful of my morning meds and ponder how to spend the day. There'll be a few exams in the coming week, but I don't consider them as ominous as... as um, yeah, as ominous... Um, ominous? Ominous as others. Not worried about them, so I probably should be. With no urgent obligations regarding education, I should be free to spend the day at the festival as I like. Finishing my morning routine, I exit in the hallway, intending to go out and find something to eat. Passing by a store, I decide to see what Kenzie's up to, and if impulse- No! No! What a shitty impulse decision! I'm curious if he has any plans since everyone's doing something. That is the worst goddamn impulse- They're Oh god, you're just gonna hear some more conspiracy bullshit. You know you don't want to hear it. I know I don't want to hear it. God damn it. Then again, I can picture him having built a soundproof room in his shelter. Or possibly something like a fort, complete with a No Girls Allowed sign. With the girls crossed out and buddy crawled <laughs> on the bridge. <laughs> Nobody allowed. Knocking on his door, which is luckily devoid of any kind of sign. I hear again the unsettling clicking of at least ten locks being pulled back. The door begins to creak. And as it creaks, I stab myself on the side with my goddamn broken chair. Ow. Fuck. Ow. Ow, God. Freaking screws are everywhere in this chair. I need to get duct tape. Who's it, brah? You're supposed to ask that before you open the door. Oh, it's you! Damn, it's early, bro. I was sleeping, man. I was in my fort. No girl's lad. It's it's not really that early. It's kind of late, is it? Listen, man. What are you doing, bro? No, no I was just going to ask you what you were going to do today. Have the schools out there already. Out oh, where? Why? What? 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 what, what, what? Is they special, bro? What, what, what do you do? Who are you? I, I can hear them. It's loud. Don't tell me. Has the invasion begun? Ha have I slept in the... Have I slept through preparations? He suddenly looks more alarmed. What, what day is it, man? What year is it? Yeah, I, I guess you could see the big wooden booths outside and people selling stuff. What's that I'm talking about, brah? I have my curtains closed all the time to thwart the goddamn feminist invasion snipers. You never know when they're going to try to take you out. Uh, it's it's the festival, you know? The festival? Oh, shit! That's today, brah? Oh, damn, see, damn it, brah! can't believe I forgot. I don't have my fourth finish yet. This is bad. This is going to be a very, very bad day. It, it, it's good you told me, man. It, it's going to be a bad day, brah. But why? Oh man, they're gonna be everywhere. People outside my window, socializing? I can't take that. I can't take this at all. I need to be in my fort. No one's allowed in my fort, bro. Kenji rubs his temple nervously, suddenly looking very ill. It's gonna be loud as hell. Damn, I was gonna go out today, but now it's ruined. Everything is ruined, bro. <coughs> <coughs> Choking's ruined, bro. Choking. This is awful. This sucks. This just sucks. What the hell? This really sucks. I, I can't go anywhere now, bro. There's, there's nowhere to run. Kenji seems nervous. You can even say he's majorly freaking out. I can't, I can't believe this. So, so, so what, 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 what today was? Damn, and, and I couldn't even prepare for it. I couldn't even brace myself, and now, and now it's here, and I can't do anything, bro? You should have told me this earlier, dude. I mean, at least I know, but I could have known earlier. Imagine what that would have accomplished if I would have known something earlier, bro. C can you, can you give me $400? I, 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 I thought you knew. So I guess you're not going to do anything today. The weather is even good. Yes, it was really windy, so I thought today would be cold. It's not, though, so there's no reason to stay inside. And yeah, you can check the festival out. Kenji groans and covers his face with his hands. I know! No, I can't do that, bro. They'll leave me alive out there. I know it. I'm just... 
I gotta prepare against the feminist conjecture of spirits. Anti my guns, anti my knives, anti my grenades. That's gotta be a joke. But he still has such a straight face. Well, at least relatively straight. His face is kind of curvy though. He still does look like a gay Harry Potter. What are you gonna do, brah? We should hang out in here. Can you help me build my fort? Might still make it work if together. I wonder. I'm, I'm kind of hungry, but I made a steal that I should try and pay, get a better care of myself. You know, be healthier. I don't know if I should steer clear of the teriyaki or head straight in. Deal. Sounds ominous. So what do you get in return? Nothing, I guess. Not that kind of a deal. You know, you know, I mean, from our year, we kind of agreed to watch each other's backs and... Aye! This the shrill scream and the expression of abject terror in Kaji's face chill my blood, as if I was told a Catholic priest I sold my soul to the devil. Huh! You, you sold your soul to the devil! And, and you didn't even get anything in return, brah? What the hell is wrong with you, man? Do, do you even know who you're dealing with, brah? She, she's no good. She's no good at all. She's public health danger, brah. Do you know how many people she sends to hospital monthly with her carefully placed flying tackles? She's one of them, bruh. I swear, she's a feminist agenda conspiracy. I keep playing the vast conspiracy that aims for the complete submission of everything is manly. Alright? I'm too manly. I can't have her submit me. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I trusted in your judgment, bruh. And, and I thought we were brothers, bruh. How are you gonna help me, broski? You have to call it off before it's too late. The festival, it's, it's just one of their ploys. Oh god. His fingers, he fingers his scarf nervously. Ew. Faster and faster like he's trying to start a fire. This only begins to calm down once the panic attack finishes running its course. I'm gonna have to find some place to hide, man. A safe haven, bro. And then, and then I glide out of myself, so I don't have to experience this horrible day. I have a perfect thing for that. I must prepare now. Don't go to the festival, bro. I won't go to the festival. Larry, dude. Bro, I. Oh god. The door slowly closes with a low creak, and I'm fucking going to the festival. I don't know how to feel about what Kenji just said. It's kind of unsettling, and now I start to doubt myself. Why? He's a nut. Why? Should I bother? Yeah, go. He's a nut. I've got a book I've been meaning to read. I'm talking about an undergoing postal system that may or not exist. Underground postal system. It's short, too. I can't finish in a day. But but that would be a good way to spend my time? Well, yeah, definitely it would be. But I suppose that would be better for an idea to head outside. Socialize. See the festival. Try to integrate with all the other sideshow acts. Honestly, I should just at least attempt to make with commentary with some other people. You know, see how I've been doing. Maybe we get something to eat. My stomach suggests. It's almost lunchtime. I'd at least grab something for one of the stalls outside. That's a good idea. You're a good idea, man. You have good ideas. I'm sitting outside, shown by various students and people who may or not be their parents. Every so often, I catch a glimpse of someone who just nearly came up and out of town from the promise of a festival. They're easy to spot. Once you can't stop staring, and they're behind their eyes, you can tell they're thinking, Now what's wrong with this one? And what's wrong with this one? And this guy's missing legs? And that guy's got no face? I almost want to yell at them. But at the same time, I can't deny that I haven't been doing the same thing all week. A wave of something like disgust swoops over me. Guilt for my own narrow-mindedness. I guess so. All of a sudden it just hits you that you're doing the same thing these people are doing. And then eventually, I mean, you, you try and see yourself as better than some people. But you realize, fuck man, we're just all the same. And their vices are my vices. And, you know, they're just not hiding it like I'd like to. But it still exists. $700? Oh, yen for that thing. God, I thought they were going to sell me like an actual chicken. Or, or a goat. Push the thoughts aside, concentrating on the pangs of hunger that might burns my gut like wildfire. The sense of something fried leads me to the promised land where I can get some lunch. Just getting my order when a loud voice interrupts me. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What? Who? What? Hey, bre lunch. I'm hungry. Breakfast? You mean you just got up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suddenly sleeping all morning feels like a crime. No, I meant, I meant lunch. Honest. I was getting lunch. She's not buying it. Brunch? It's not a healthy breakfast at all, Sal. She snatches my food in my hand and glares at me. What the hell is this girl doing? Hey, that, that's my breakfast. You can't take that. Hey, the, the doctor said... Having breakfast is the most important part of the meal, and now you're taking it from me. I could die. How would you feel? What happened to it being your lunch? That's my whatever. It's my food. All right. I bought it fair and square. She places her hand on her hips and begins lecturing me. Did you really forget your dietary plan already? You need to be more conscientious of your health, this Al. What about your heart? My, my heart's to find the way it is, m mostly. It's okay. Well, I get a response to the roll of the eyes, like I'm doing something wrong. God, I doubt that. You wouldn't be here if that was the case, would you? The girl's got a point, though. Fucking Emmy's fast. She's quick. I'm not about to concede to it. It's not that bad of a heart. I can love. It's not completely broken. I like people. I, I, I just think I deserve a hot dog every now and then. Certainly can handle a little grease now and again. Yeah, sure. And it can handle a little running just fine, too. Emmy seems unconvinced. Not surprising, as I haven't managed to convince myself, either. Maybe. But if you're not sleeping a day away all the time... Wait, what the fuck did I just read? Maybe, but if you're not sleeping a day away all the time... What? That doesn't make sense. A devious look suddenly crosses her face. Of course, if you've been following a routine from the beginning, you wouldn't be in this kind of situation now, would you? Damn it, you're right. 
you're right. You are right. You're 100% right. So why don't I begin my routine tomorrow? And I'll start fresh. Now let me just eat my goddamn hot dog.